All right, guys, the next feature that I want to talk about is one of the coolest features for the iPad, and that is something called live text. If you have a picture, if you take a picture and you've got text inside that picture, now the iPad has the ability to extract that text. So let's go ahead and test it out. I've got something here. Let's say I've got this. All right. You can see that live text is right here. That's on Apple's website. This is the link that I was talking to you about. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. I am taking a picture right now. Okay. So now that I took the picture, let's go to the gallery. So this is the picture that I just took. And you can see there's some text here, which means that you can select the text in your picture. And that is so cool. You can also use the functions right here, like copy, translate, look up. Let's say I want to translate this to, okay, let's say I want to translate this to another language. I can choose the language and translate it. For example, it's going to show up right here or I can copy it and paste it somewhere else. Live text works in different apps. It works in photos, it works in screenshots, it works in Quick Look, and it works in Safari, and that, that is pretty cool. Another cool feature that Apple added this year is improved functionality with the Spotlight Search. Spotlight Search can be accessed here, and I love it. You can also access Spotlight on your Mac. It's one of the best features for Apple products. Let me show you how that looks like on the Mac. If I press command spacebar, that is the spotlight search. And the reason spotlight search is way better on Mac devices than Windows devices is because it indexes almost everything, even the emails, um, even text found anywhere. Apple this year added something even more interesting, which is live text found inside the photos. So Spotlight Search can find anything you want, even inside the photos. If you have text that is inside the photo, Spotlight Search can find it for you. So remember that photo that we just took right now? Let's go back here. Remember this photo that had the word that had the words live text? Let's test out Spotlight Search by searching for the words live text. There you go. And it found it. This is really, really cool, you guys. Now, there's one caveat here. I don't know if this is a problem or a bug or maybe it needs time to index, but, but I've tried to search for some of my older pictures. I found some text in older pictures and I thought maybe Spotlight can find them. It was not able to find the text in my older pictures, but perhaps that's an indexing issue. I'm not sure because if you have thousands of pictures, and there's text in all of these pictures or in a lot of these pictures, then I think that's going to take a lot of processing power. But it works for any kind of recent photos that you took. In any case, Spotlight Search and the live text inside is really, really cool. And like Google Photos, now you can search for things like, let's say I want to search for cat. It's going to show me my pictures, for example, with my cat. I mean, how cool is that? Okay. Check this out. That's pretty cool, man.